Hey all, this is Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me here. In this tutorial, we're going to take a Project Life app page and embellish it in the Studio app, formerly called Over. It's free in the Google Play Store and in the Apple App Store. And everything I'll be demonstrating today is possible with the free version of the app. I do not have a subscription. This will be a very basic overview, so you'll want to check out the Discover tab on the home page to learn how to do a lot of other things. I'm going to be demonstrating on an iPad in landscape view using some Project Mouse digital products that can be found at the lilypad.com. Project Mouse is a theme parks inspired line of scrapbooking products that Celine Studio and British Designs have collaborated on. I'm on the Celine Studio creative team, so I like to use her products in a lot of my tutorials, but this can be done with any digital scrapbooking kit. Before we get to the tutorial, let me get some housekeeping out of the way. You can find me elsewhere on the interwebs and Instagram and Facebook at Jenna Scraps in the Simply Project Life App Scrappers Facebook group on the Celine Studio blog under the Scrapbooking with Apps category. Be sure to check out the Be Inspired tab for some freebies there. And I'm a guest contributor to a couple of the classes on the Teresa Moxley website. I host monthly Zoom crops. Feel free to uh, comment or message me on Facebook about those. And I'm here on YouTube. Check out the playlists I've made here on my channel and I would love it if you would subscribe, tap the little bell to get notified for new videos and like any of the videos you find helpful. That is helpful to me to know if this kind of video is worthwhile or not. Alrighty then, thanks for that bit of an indulgence. Let's get on with the task at hand. This page is one I made in a previous tutorial on the Celine Studio blog. I will link that below. Be sure to check that out and come back here if this is all new to you. We're gonna add a few embellishments to this page and a background paper, and we're gonna take it from here, which is lovely in and of itself, right? This is what most of my pages actually look like, but we're gonna take it from here to here. These are papers and embellishments from the Project Mouse Basics number two collection and I think the Essentials Fasteners kit. Just like there are paper scrapbooking products, there are digital versions of all those same things. Digital papers, digital stickers, digital word art, digital ribbon, digital paper. <laughs> you get the idea. All right, so to get this into the Studio app, you can do one of two things. The first thing we're going to do is just go to our Project Life app and navigate to the page. Thankfully, mine opened quickly. All right, so I'm going to tap the export arrow and tap export, tap 12 by 12. Always save a 12 by 12, no matter what size you wanna print. And I can just save that image to my camera roll. If you're not adding a background paper, you can actually tap that export arrow, tap export, tap 12 by 12, and add it straight into other apps. I've got Affinity here, Studio there, I could save it to my cloud, and you can edit this share sheet by tapping more right here and toggling on or off any apps you wanna use. And also you can edit this part by tapping there and you can customize this whole share sheet. I definitely added save image to the very top but again, like I said, you can tap right there and this will get brought right into the Studio app. But because we're gonna add a background paper, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm going to open Studio and add the background paper first. So because I have that stored in a cloud, I have downloaded it on my PC, unzipped it, and copied it into a cloud, which is what you'll need to do with any of your digital scrapbooking kits. Or if you have storage on your device, of course you can always do it there as well. I think that is covered in that previous tutorial I mentioned, so check that out. But I am gonna just tap this plus sign right here to add a piece of paper I have stored in OneDrive, which is my preferred cloud. This will open up and you'll see displayed probably your photos album. You can also get to your favorites or all of your other albums by tapping all photos, but I'm gonna tap more to get to my clouds. And this opened up for me because I was just kind of looking through here, but if you don't see what you want on this first screen, tap this arrow back, all the way back, all the way back, all the way back, until you see this page, 
which you can customize as well. So tap those three dots, edit the sidebar, toggle on or off any apps you wanna use there, any clouds you wanna to get to, and make sure all of those apps you need are downloaded and you're logged in. If you use Amazon, you need the Amazon Drive and the Amazon Photos downloaded and logged in. You need to do both of those apps. I don't use it much. I mean, I use it as a backup. I don't, I don't actively use it for scrapbooking. I typically use OneDrive. So I'm gonna tap done there and I'm gonna tap OneDrive. That's where I'm headed. I'm gonna tap files. And once you navigate to a folder, it, it should open back up for you. Here's hoping. That is the goal. And you saw that when I opened this up, it went to that paper. So it's nice that that does that. But if you want to favorite something for super quick access, you can press and hold and favorite. Okay, so check out all of these options also. You can rename whatever you need to do, add tags and favorite things. This is so, so helpful. Okay, but I'm not going there yet. I'm going right here to papers and I'm gonna scroll down and simply just tap on this paper I wanna add into Studio. So you can see it'll show you the dimensions there and I'm gonna tap check mark. All right, so now we wanna add that Project Life app page on top of this, right? So I'm going to come back to image and my photos app is showing up right here. So I'm simply gonna tap on the page. Okay, so here's what it looks like after you bring the page in and we can do a few things with our Project Life app page while this toolbar is open here at the bottom. We're gonna resize this just a little bit and you can see that it is a little smaller than the final page example I showed you. So I'm just going to enlarge that a little bit. I don't know, about 120. That doesn't mean anything. It's not like 20% larger or 120% larger or whatever than it's supposed to be. It's fine. I'm going to, oh, before I tap the check mark, let's give this a little bit of a shadow. So I'm going to adjust the angle because, um, well, it kind of went to the left. Did you see that? Sometimes it goes to the right. I'm happy with that actually. So let's check the blur here. This is kind of reverting to some of my previous settings that I've used. Oftentimes it's a lot harsher and a lot stronger than this. So I want you to play around with the blur and the opacity. Oftentimes that blur is very sharp and almost too hard. So I definitely adjust the blur and the opacity. And the size of the image matters on the shadow, so you're gonna have to tweak that as you go. Sometimes I will make them match. Uh, if it's a larger item, if it's a flower, you want a bigger blur. and So it, it's just different. It's really something you're gonna have to eyeball and play around with. And there are definitely a lot of other tools down here. We'll get to some more in just a minute. But for this page on the paper, I'm happy with the size and I'm happy with the shadow and that's really all I'm gonna do with the Project Life app page. So I'm gonna tap the check mark and now we can add some of the other embellishments. And to do that, we are going to come down here to the image icon again and navigate to our cloud. Here's OneDrive and the files I need to get to in OneDrive, but I wanna go back and show you, here's where your favorites will be. So be sure to check that out. And I can get to Project Mouse by tapping there also. I'm going to use a word strip from the bundles or the basics number two collection. And I think it says I love this is the one I picked on the page. So I'm going to use this right here. Super cute. Now you can see it is intuitive enough to know that I added a shadow to another item on this page so maybe I want that shadow on here you can while the toolbar is open adjust that shadow a little bit if you want to mess with the blur opacity the color I never change the color I leave it as is but um, I am going to use my two fingers to adjust the size of this so I'm just going to shrink that down a little bit and straighten it back up a little bit and put it right about there super cute right all right, so I'm gonna tap that check mark right there. We're gonna bring in some other items from that same collection. Let's see, I think I wanna go back to my cloud and I'm gonna go back a level to the elements. 
I know I want to add this little banner to the upper left, so I'm going to do that. And again, it's huge. It does have a little bit of a shadow. You can sort of see that there, and you can, again, tap on the icon and verify. Yeah, see, it knew it was a smaller item, so it gave it a smaller shadow, but I think I want to bump that up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to tap the check mark and just use my two fingers to place it in this upper left corner and that'll work. I think I want to add some beads from this elements pack, this embellishments pack also. Let's see, where are they? Scroll down to these seed beads. Absolutely, absolutely adorable. Okay, obviously we don't need them to be that large. We're gonna double check the shadow and see what it has for it. It's a little intuitive. It gave it a nine. I think I'm gonna bump it up. <laughs> I give it more than a nine. Uh, I am going to shrink that down with my fingers, put them down here in the corner, and try not to cover up too much of the right now on the card. I'm gonna tap the check mark there. And I think I want to duplicate this and use it in the upper left corner. Now I just duplicated it, but you can't see anything because it's right on top of itself. So all you need to do is just move it over and I am going to tap there and edit. I'm going to actually flip this and kind of rotate it a little. Oh no, <laughs> back arrow, <laughs> definitely. I'm glad I showed you that because you don't wanna forget about that back arrow if something like that accidentally happens. I'm just gonna rotate that a little bit and then move it up here. Um, I'm going to, well, tap the check mark first and then I'm going to, in the layers palette, drag that below the banner. So there we go. Okay, now I need to add what? Let's see. Um, I have a couple of staples I wanna add and a little flag I wanna add down here. So let's navigate back to the embellishments and grab that flag. It's super cute as well. I just love these little things. I'm gonna get the one with the heart on it. Of course, oversized and we need to double check the shadow. Bump it up a little bit. Now you notice I'm not making this match exactly. It's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and, well, I'm gonna go ahead and resize it. And actually, while I have the toolbar open, I need to rotate this one as well. We'll flip it. So I'm gonna flip it that way so that the flag is going in. I want the edge of it to be right off the Project Life page, but not off the background paper. So I'm gonna use the nudge tool just a little bit. Nudge it over to the left a little bit with the arrow. And, um, is that about the size of a toothpick or is it a little larger on a 12 by 12 page? What do you think? Mm, I think that'll work. I'm gonna leave it right there and tap the plus sign. Now let's give this some staples. So I'm gonna go to the fasteners kit that I have in Project Mouse. I think it's in the essentials line. Okay, there we go. And I think, oh, you guys, I just love this collection so much. Lots of fun little buttons and clips and brads and photo corners. I love the photo corners. All right, but I'm just going to grab this staple right here and obviously not going to keep it that size. I'm going to use my two fingers. I'm not going to mess with the shadow on this uh, and I'm going to move that to where it's right over the string right there. I want to duplicate that so I'm going to tap to highlight the staple, not the page or the card. It's very hard to get something that's so tiny, but I want to duplicate. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I have never had that much trouble grabbing an item <laughs> in studio. <laughs> okay. I want to duplicate that and just move it over here. Now, because I don't want to mess with the size is one reason why I wanted to duplicate. I wanted to resize that first before I duplicate it. Now I also don't want to rotate this and use my fingers because I might accidentally enlarge it. So I'm gonna try to grab this tiny little staple again, tap the edit option, and 
over here, rotate it to match up with this side a little bit more. I'm also going to use the nudge tool to nudge it over just a bit. And I'm going to rotate it again. My <laughs> eyesight is not that great. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tap the check mark. That's fine. I've got some of those beads over there, the flag staples. I think I, I think that's enough for me. Now, if you want to do more, I highly recommend looking into another app called Affinity. And Pixels to Pages has a great class on that. She also has a class on the Project Life app. Be sure to check both of those out. I'll link them below. Um, but there are, while you're in over, take a er, studio. While you're in studio, I'm going to um, select this item and tap edit. I really want you to look at all the tools down here. You can do a lot of different things. So be sure to double check some of those. You can crop items. If you have a word strip and, it, and you want to break it up, you can add it a couple of times and crop things out. Um, there are a lot of tools down here. I did not go over this um, in detail, but I want you to, to be sure to check out all of these things. There's a lot you can do with it. But um, let's close that out. And to save our page, we're gonna tap the export arrow in the upper right. And uh, there we go. I want you to double check your export settings. Okay, so make sure you have it on JPEG and best quality. Set that as your defaults for your pages. I'm gonna leave that as my default. I'm going to tap done and then I can just save this to my camera roll and you could also share it straight into social media or tap more to add it to a cloud you prefer. Okay, so that's really the basics of the studio app on embellishing Project Life app pages. Again, check out all those tools at the bottom and be sure to play around with them. Don't be afraid to tap on anything. You cannot delete or ruin anything. If you don't like the page you're making, tap the back button or start over. No big deal. Anyway, with that, I hope it helps. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, share it with a friend, and um, I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it, and y'all have a good day.